<laughs> yeah, right. Thanks, Elizabeth. Well, it's a political thriller about two women from different worlds teaming up against a brutal African dictator. But the author's first-hand encounters in the third world countries gives this novel a much deeper meaning. Joining us now is the author of Under the Skin. There it is on your screen. Nick Hahn joins us now. Nick, nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you, Clayton. Very troubling region. A lot of issues here. You spent seven months in this region, and then you decided to put all of your stories, or a lot of that stories, into fictional form in a novel. Why fiction? Well, because fiction is what entertains people and what engages people. And oftentimes, when you write a story that's sort of a dry uh, newspaper type of article, uh, it doesn't have the same impact. When I lived in Uganda, I was struck by the, um, uh, by the lack of rights on the part of women especially, but human rights in general. And I thought that if I could write a story based on the reality that I experienced over there, and you know, do it in an exciting thriller type uh, format, that this would be more effective in, in delivering the message I wanted to deliver. So you're, you're working on this powerful thread throughout a couple of the books that you're now working on, a uh, second book on Pakistan, but what did you find about women's rights in Uganda specifically that made you want to write this story? They really didn't exist. And it's, it's generational. It's not something that is dictated. It, it comes up uh, over many, many, many generations. The, the, the young men are raised to treat women a certain way, and women are raised to accept that. And that, that's really the, the sad part of it, is that the women don't really understand that there's a better way for them to live their life. And that, there are, and that there are, uh, there's a future for women in, in Uganda, just as there are here in the United States, for example. Why were you in that region to begin with? I was there on a, on a, um, uh, a, f a foreign aid project. I was working for a consortium of three organizations, Bono and Ali Hewson, as you know, are deeply committed to Africa. Right. They were part of the coalition. The World Life Conservation Society here in New York was the second leg of the stool. And the third leg was an organization in San Diego called Invisible Children, which is a large NGO that's very active in northern Uganda in trying to find this, uh, land, this uh, warlord over there, Joseph Kony. Now, you, you're working on this next book on Pakistan. Do you yes. see some similarities in the regions among women's rights and just human rights in general? A absolutely. Of course, Pakistan is a Muslim country, as we know. That's the home of Malala, and there's been some terrible issues there for women's rights. So there are similarities, but there are also big cultural differences. So those, those differences will come out in the book. Hmm. What have you been hearing from folks in that region? Any other political interests from those regions that don't like what you're doing? Don't stirring the pot, so to speak? <laughs> That's an interesting question. I, I have a lot of friends in Uganda, local people in Uganda that I know. I have sent copies of my book to those people and I've told them what I'm doing. And actually, they're quite thrilled with what I'm doing. And I think uh, getting this kind of a message out, even on a show like this, will be music to their ears. Well, that's wonderful. Well, I hope our audience this morning goes out, goes over to Amazon and picks up the book. It's called Under the Skin, and I will tweet out the link a little bit later, so hopefully people can pick up and help spread this message about what That would be rights. terrific. Thanks so much. Nick Hahn. Nick Hahn is the author of the book, the book again, Under the Skin, and come back when the next book is out. Thanks. I'll do that. Thank you.